Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. Just tell me about the concept and vision behind the Keen Music Festival. Yeah, um, I think it's right there on the logo where music is community. Um, it's just, Music Fest is just about, you know, bringing together local musicians and community members just to enjoy a great day of music downtown. Yeah, uh, it's, it's been a big part of it is also getting more opportunity for original music around um you know we have a lot of local people but there's a lot of people that have come from new york state other places new england so it's been good to bring that here Oh, 
kind of were able to streamline a little bit um we had set up a um a website uh web page so that people can do everything digitally um which it's a google form that we uh push out over social media so yeah w- with that uh i think we got 120 some odd submissions um and literally we just have listening parties we'd get a batch and we'd sit down around a table and we'd listen and kind of pick out we're trying to also pick on different genres and mm-hmm. styles to to fill it out completely so there's you know something for pretty much all taste
So our board is made up of six volunteers, um, and whichever of us are available on the days that we do these listening parties, um, we kind of come to a consensus together. There are some that we agree on immediately, and then there are some that we might, you know, put into another list to go back and give a second listen to. But we we pretty much yeah. manage to come to a consensus. Right. Yeah. There's no official vote, but it's yeah, it's consensus. And then once we, you know, once we feel like we have uh, the strongest of the submissions, we'll go back and draw from the maybes, mm -hmm. basically. the original member of the board um, does most of the, the permitting with the city. He's worked with them so much as far as any kind of permitting. Um, obviously, you have to get insurances um, in case anything happens. Mm -hmm. um, and then most of the rest of the logistics is 
Um, all the sound is volunteer as well. Um, this year we didn't pay anyone to do any of the, you know, running of the stages. Um, that's all volunteer. Um, so that's, that can be tough putting that together as far as like, and you need to pick what bands for what size sound system and all that. So that figures into to running lineups. Um, <clears throat> it's honestly more about the, just the logistics of what makes sense than it is about bands getting set times isn't always because of who's a bigger band or a more known band sometimes it's strictly about where can they play and when mm -hmm. to accommodate you know what they're doing <laughs>
merchandise? Did you yes. Did you have any merchandise stands, or was it just each one does their own thing? Um, each one does their own thing, as far as the bands. Um, because it's all volunteer, besides us putting it on, all the bands are volunteering that time. Sure. Nobody is making money off of that. Um, so we just encourage bands, if they have merchandise, absolutely bring it to the stage they're on. And, you know, if there's a spot for them to set up, you know, they can absolutely do that.
hear this song. This song I wrote uh, in the early stages of the pandemic. You know, we were all getting at each other. And I kept on thinking, like, you know, everything that we've ever done, everything we've ever done and accomplished really is something that was amazing to do together. And I realized we maybe need the song to go ahead and just remind us of what we can do together. Don't worry, this is not a political song. If anything, it's an anti-political song. Right? I think just to kind of go off of what you were saying, our, our visions for the future and the fundraising. So in, you know, increasing our fundraising and, and hopefully giving us some sort of a baseline for a budget, but that also really grows the relationships that we have with the local businesses. So we've partnered with um, Margaritas. They've hosted some of their Noche fundraisers for us. Um, so certain days we'll have a, a slot of a few hours where people go in and mention 
the fundraiser, then a portion of their sale is donated to the music festival. Um, there was a yoga class that Everglow Wellness did that was a cash donation um, to music festival. The karaoke nights that we've done have been at the Italian Club. Um, so it, it's really given us an opportunity to expand on our community partnerships in that way. Um, and then that just kind of goes along like with the spirit of the festival. We always have questions um, that people ask us about bringing in vendors or food trucks or something like that, but we really, it's just a day to support the downtown Main Street businesses sure. as much as possible right. with, with the foot traffic right. that we bring down. because we are set up street side mm -hmm. it does affect them and it's yes. a good thing if we can make it a positive Ex experience yeah. for them you know we don't want to we don't want to as chelsea said bring in food trucks from out of town when there's already these local restaurants and mm -hmm. you know local vendors that supply everything you, you need for the day <laughs> Listen to, you can hear her say, you're a force. 
Next year, planning is in the works. We'll be back 2024. Right on. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Thank you. you.